Cannes Film Festival. One of the most iconic film festivals brings together the best of fashion and movies from all around the world. It never disappoints in showcasing a mixed bag of elegance and eccentricity, from conventional red carpet gowns to the fresh flirtatious dresses. We spoke to one of our country's best fashion designers, Najiket Barve, who gave us his expert opinions. We compared Katrina's day one and day two red carpet looks at Cannes and undoubtedly preferred her first day Oscar de la Renta strapless black gown look. This is what our expert had to say. Between the two, I think my uh, I prefer the first day's look because you know what I mean. For me, uh, Katrina has a sort of a, a certain delicacy to her look. You know, the issue is it's like a little fragile beauty yet strong, and I think the soft waves sort of flatter her face more than the severe hairdo, and. Uh, I think sort of it, you know, it, it, she felt more like herself in that look as compared to the other one for me. We also asked Nachiket Barve to tell us what we should expect from Sonam Kapoor and Aishwarya Rai Bachchan, who too will walk the red carpet this year. Nobody enjoys fashion as much as Sonam does. You know, she, and it's not put on and it's not, and she really enjoys fashion. So whether it's sort of, you know, and what I love about Sonam is she never goes half-heartedly anywhere. Like, it's a full character. Like. If she's playing Greta Garbo, she will be Greta Garbo head to toe. Like, and it's really, and she and Ria, who's her sister, and also styles her. I mean, they they both really get fashion, and I think in that sense, uh, I'm looking forward to Sonam sort of. She always experiments, but I think you know either like a French garçon look with like you know maybe a pantsuit or something which is not necessarily only pretty, but a little more sort of out there and risky. Yeah, I think Aishwarya Rai is beyond fashion. I think she's uh, over the last whatever 14, 15 years that she's been at Cannes. She, a firstly, is extraordinarily beautiful. So with her, less is always more. I feel. So uh, you know, but she is somebody whose role uh, at Cannes is not just beyond what she's wearing, but I think she's able to sort of bring a lot more to the table in terms of her, you know, her, just her presence there. And I think what I would love for her to do really is maybe uh, a strong colour. Again, sort of pared down where it sort of lets her shine because I mean she's just so flawless. You don't need anything extra. The kavali she wore last year was sensational. I think it was just like a little you know va va voom moment where it was uh, like all of the 50s, like Eva Gardner, you know, like that sort of old school, full wattage Hollywood glamour sort of on the red carpet with the red lip. So I'd love for her to do a strong colour. I would love for her to keep it minimal and let her really shine through and be weighed down by anything which is cumbersome. That's all for now. Keep watching Zoom for all the updates from Cannes 2015 and hopefully our Bollywood divas will give us even better appearances to gush about. For Radhrani Chaturaj, Zoom, Mumbai.